Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Lyco Birds with another fall warbler warm up video, and this one is going to cover worm eating warbler. Now, this species is one of the most unique looking warblers, and you can see the overall kind of yellowish buffy color. Um, one of the main marks you might look at is the smudgy undertail coverts here, this dark smudges. But the main thing you're looking at really is the head pattern. It's really distinctive. Um, you can see you have the kind of the yellowish color um, that's alternating with black stripes. And if I switch to more of a front view, you can see there's four black stripes. You can't see the one on the left side of the bird, but there's a you know similar one uh, with the left eye. But really there's not too many species that you're going to confuse that head pattern. Um, maybe something like red breasted nuthatch has a superficially similar head pattern, but I think it's a stretch to say that these birds look too much alike. Um, maybe white crowned sparrow. Um, but again, I don't think that you're going to have a particular challenge telling white crowned sparrow from, worm eating warbler. Um, if you're looking within the warbler family, probably the most similar species overall would be Swainson's warbler. Um, but they don't really have any sort of strong head pattern at all. Uh, it's just more that they're kind of uh, a, a brown color and just overall pretty plain. Um, so even those don't look particularly similar. So I think as long as you're aware of worm eating warbler and you get a halfway decent look at the head, you're going to be fine with the ID. So hopefully this helps. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.